On today's IRS tax update with less than one month to go until the end of the tax filing season, we will take a look at the latest developments, including those still experiencing refund delays who have been waiting beyond the normal 21-day tax processing period, as well as those encountering the 570 and 971 codes on their transcripts. From there, we will take a look at those who are finally receiving their refunds only to see a reduced amount due to refund adjustments. Now, IRS tax processing remains ongoing at this time, with the majority of tax returns being processed and refunds issued within 21 days of filing. However, that time frame set forth by the IRS is not guaranteed, and the major causes for refund delays beyond that time frame include the need to complete ID verification before the refund is released, or your tax return has been randomly selected for wage and or tax withholding verifications, or an audit for those claiming one of several tax credits, such as the Earned Income Tax Credit. For those seeing Tax Topic 152 on your refund status, results like seen here that represents a normal tax processing code, and it is no cause for concern. However, if you do see Tax Topic 151, it does mean there was a potential issue with the return that may result in a refund adjustment. As a reminder, tax transcripts will provide the most up-to-date information on your tax account compared to simply checking your refund status results on the IRS website. For those viewers who continue to wait for their tax refunds to be released, do note 21 days will need to have passed since your return was accepted by the IRS to be considered part of the first stage of a refund delay. Now, while the IRS sets a target date for processing of three weeks, that is not guaranteed. Even those most in fact are processed within that time frame. For viewers who have been waiting less than 21 days, especially those who have filed in the past several days, do not consider your refund delayed at this point, even if you are seeing no updates on your tax transcripts. Also, it has to be noted, the IRS may take several weeks to post any updates to your tax transcripts and where's my refund status results. Now for those experiencing delays after 21 days of waiting, we have seen a number of tax refunds delayed, either due to the need to complete identity verification or the tax return in question has been randomly selected for wage or withholding review or credit verification. These reviews in most cases are completely random and can happen to anyone regardless of whether or not you have had any tax issues in the past. Now, if you are claiming a credit such as the Earned Income Tax Credit, you may very well be selected for a random review as well in which you will be asked to provide documentation about your dependent being claimed on your tax return. Now, the 570 code that may appear on your tax transcripts can apply to any one of these situations as well as the 971 code that may appear after it. Also, the 570 code can represent an error that was found on your tax return. And in cases of a simple error, the IRS will be able to autocorrect the issue. So it is important you go back and review line by line of the tax return to make sure it is 100% accurate as even one digit being incorrect can lead to delays. Meanwhile, as we have seen in past years, the 810 refund freeze code can apply to ID verification, a credit audit, or wage verification. Now we are seeing a significant number of viewers being impacted by the 570 tax transcript code. And one of the major causes of that appearing is the tax return has been randomly selected for wage or withholding verification, or there was an actual discrepancy found with the reported numbers. If you're impacted by this particular situation, you will see the 570 and eventually the 971 code on your tax transcript. There will be instances in which the IRS will request you submit copies of your W-2 and or 1099 forms to substantiate what you reported on your taxes for accuracy. This was a common problem we covered last year and had to do with the IRS having been delayed in processing the wage information submitted by employers which meant the IRS could not verify the tax filer's reported income. In select cases, this actually added to additional months of delays and it became one of our recommendations that if you were impacted by this to contact the IRS to request you be able to submit copies of the tax forms in question so that processing could continue. It is important to note that many cases of these verification requests are random and that you did nothing wrong and committed no errors when filing your taxes. It just was a random selection and your return was the one that was chosen for an additional review. Now in other cases, there are situations where the tax filer submitted one set of numbers for wages but their employer submitted a different set of numbers, which then causes an additional review and documentation request from the IRS. But also note if you are impacted by the 570 code depending on the issue, it may automatically resolve itself and there will be no issue or further delays as a result. While we did see a significant amount of refunds being released in the last week, 
also came additional reports of refund adjustments, and some viewers encountering the refund status results seen here, indicating their refund has been approved, but that it was partially or completely reduced as a result. Now the most common reason for a reduced refund is that there was an error on the tax return, and just two years ago, there was an estimated 17 million tax return submitted that contained at least one error that the IRS had to autocorrect, so it's very common and could be something as simple as a single digit being incorrect. The good news is in most cases, the IRS will autocorrect the issue, and it will not require a person to file an amended tax return. Another top reason for a reduced refund is that the tax filer owes the IRS on a previous tax balance, and even if there is an existing payment plan in place, the IRS will still deduct the balance owed from the current year's refund. Now, other causes of refund reductions, which may result in a tax topic, 203 code on your refund status results as seen here, is past due child support. Federal agency, non-tax debt such as certain past due loans, and state income tax obligations. Currently, the IRS is not applying tax refunds for past due federal student loans. However, that will resume next year. Let us know in the comment section below about your ongoing tax issue. In the meantime, we will keep monitoring the situation for further developments, so make sure to click on the thumbs up and subscribe button below for future updates on this channel, and thanks for watching.